He became Omarion, the solo artist. He was Omarion, the frontman of the popular boy band B2K. Omarion may have been the lead singer of B2K, but he had no problem letting the other members take the lead from time to time. He thought because the other members were equally talented, he wasn't carrying the group. B2K first got a taste of fame while touring with the already famous Lil Bow Wow. They spent two and a half months opening for Lil Bow Wow in the summer of 2001 and later appeared in his Ghetto Girls video. This group was going places and they were getting there fast. They worked the press circuit and made appearances on MTV, Soul Train, Teen Nick, and on the syndicated talk show, The Jenny Jones Show. It was now their time. In March of 2002, B2K released their self-titled debut album. This album became an instant hit thanks to massive publicity and to their growing number of young female fans. But teenage girls weren't the only ones falling for the young heartthrobs. Even parents approved of the B2K boys. Their style and presence reminded older audiences of the Jackson 5 and New Edition. Their debut single, Uh Huh, a steamy and infectious dance track quickly found its way to the top of the charts in 2002. That same year in October, B2K released a holiday album. Their Christmas album, Santa Hooked Me Up, got families into the holiday spirit. Some of the tracks included classics like Jingle Bells, Santa Claus Is Coming to Town, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and Santa Baby. In December 2002, B2K released their third album of that year. Their sophomore album, Pandemonium, included the hit song, Bump Bump Bump, written and produced by Omarion's writing idol, R. Kelly. The song featured P. Diddy, who also appeared in the video. It was a good year for B2K. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, and that was no exception for the much-loved foursome. Choreography for there, I did some showing some moves I'm from an original pop lock era. You know, I'm 42 years old, and I go way back when it first started in Los Angeles when it came from Oakland. And they wanted those pop moves. 